The story begins in 1828. Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain, a perfumer chemist by profession, opened his first boutique on Rue de Rivoli in his factory at Place de l'Étoile. This ambitious young man soon proved to be a visionary creator. In 1853, he composed Eau de Cologne Impériale for Empress Eugénie and helped design its bottle, decorated with 69 bees gilded with fine gold, which would become iconic of the house. He was named official supplier to Her Majesty, the ultimate accolade. Swept up by the excitement of the era, Paris became the capital of elegance, and Guerlain headed by Pierre-François Pascal its fragrant trail. His son Aimé followed in his footsteps. The inventor of modern perfumery echoed the Impressionist movement and strayed from the figurative to focus on abstraction. In 1889, Jiki was the first modern fragrance to blend natural and synthetic materials. For Aimé, fragrance was an emotion, above all. Amongst the women who inspired him, the elegant and inimitable Parisienne would be his absolute muse. He composed fragrances for her and helped create this eternal legend of beauty. The reins were then taken up by Jacques Guerlain, Aimé's nephew. He was the most inspired and prolific perfume maker of all time. This maestro crafted over 400 creations, including Leur Bleu, Mitsuko, and Chalimar, the first oriental fragrance in perfumery. Inspired by his artist friends, he created Sous Le Vent for Josephine Baker, Vol de Nuit as a tribute to Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, and Coque d'Or for the choreographer Diaghilev. The art of the perfumer reached its height. With Jacques, fragrance would be nothing less than an object of desire. Jean-Paul Guerlain, Jacques' grandson, joined his grandfather in the Courbevoie factory as early as his adolescence. Together, they created Oud, the fragrance representing shared know-how. Jean-Paul was only 18 at the time. Blessed with a nose capable of recognizing over 3,000 scents, he soon turned out to be a superb perfume maker. He notably created Abbey Rouge, Vetiver, and Samsara. A real Marco Polo of essences, he explored the world in search of the rarest and most precious raw materials to appeal to women whom he loved with a passion. The successor of Jean-Paul, Thierry Vasseur, is the fifth perfumer. He continues the excellent work of his predecessors. He collaborates with talented perfumers such as Delphine Gelk, with whom he composed La Petite Robe Noire, a tribute to the chic and sassy Parisienne, Guerlain's eternal muse. He painted the olfactory portrait of the ideal man with L'Homme Ideal, but it is with Mont Guerlain launched worldwide in 2017 that Thierry Vasseur, who is adamantly feminist, celebrates women today. Since 1828, Guerlain has been telling a story of love and shared know-how through each of its 1,100 creations. 